I appreciate your patience. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying earlier, uh, this is the end of the session year, uh, and uh, the IT subcommittee wanted to give a end of session year report. And uh, most of what's been happening in the IT subcommittee is really related to the IT audit report, which was delivered to the whole budget committee on December 20th meeting. I'm sure that some of you tried to read it and maybe had some problems understanding it, and so that's what this presentation is for, uh, primarily to uh, provide uh, a higher level overview of the report, uh, gain a better insight into the budgetary considerations uh, of possible management decisions that will be born from that report. Uh, we don't know what those decisions will be yet because they haven't made them as far as I know. Um, we bring focus on the key recommendations in the report as well and, and just open up a conversation about it. Uh, so that's the purpose of, of this uh, presentation. Of course, the budget will be driven by Selectman's policy as well as town management's imp implementation strategy as well as the costs of hardware and software and associated labor costs in implementing. It is noted in the uh, IT report and I concur that the current technical staff that we have uh, has demands on it from support issues that inhibit them from being effective utilization of their skills. Uh, and, and, and that's one of the uh, highlighted points in the report is that they spend a lot of time in what we generally refer to as firefighting. It's not literal fires, but just, you know, emergencies right. constantly arising. You don't really have time to do much else, else other than put out those fires. So uh, you can expect that some degree of augmentation of that staff is likely to occur, so that's going to have a budgetary impact. Uh, again, we won't know to what extent until management decides and uh, how they're going to uh, implement some or all of the recommendations in the IT report. The key recommendations, as, as we saw it on the subcommittee, revolve around four areas, uh, business continuity, email system functionality, uh, information technology leadership, and data integration. I'm going to speak a slide or two, on mostly one slide, on each of these points. If anyone you have any questions as I go to from one slide to another, please jump in. On the business continuity side, this is the things that you need to keep your business running. In this case, the business is town government. And so we've got issues with network connectivity that was highlighted in the report, uh, environmental conditions like weather and uh, has caused uh, inhibition of the microwave links, for example, between the fire stations. And there was a suggestion or a recommendation in the report that need to be hide wired and, and I would speculate that probably needs to be done with fiber optic uh, cabling. Uh, so you can anticipate that uh, if management decides to address that particular issue, uh, that will have budgetary impacts that we will need to be sensitive to. Um, disaster recovery, um, basically the overview was that it said, you know, the business con continuity plan needs redevelopment essentially, needs a fresh new look at it from a variety of angles. And all this means is a business continuity plan is a fancy way of saying, what do we do to keep the business running while we're dealing with a disaster? D disaster could be anything from a hard drive failure to an you know, entire system crash, to the whole building burns down, to an earthquake, I mean, you name it. Uh, it has to be all considered. Uh, and to what extent you need to function just like an emergency management uh, that you would think of in a non-technical fashion. The technology that you need in an emergency, and what technology you need, how you're going to bring it to bear in a timely fashion. That's basically business continuity, okay? And that needs to be re-looked at according to the IT report. And uh, frankly, I've been in that space for a number of corporations in the past, and that needs to be looked at regularly, like yeah. at least yeah. annually, because things change. Mostly they change not just about technology, but they also change in terms of the organization's needs. Yeah. So those two have to be mapped together, the organization needs and the technology that's currently available. And of course, then there's the hardware reliability issue um, that's related to uh, it. We have aging server hardware and applications that they're calling for a potential replacement and upgrades or even decommissioning. And they're suggesting that virtual servers should be used. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, 
there was an IT Selectman's Committee that also made that suggestion five years ago. Um, and it, it does, in fact, provide an opportunity for much more cost effectiveness in terms of uh, hardware, both from PC and a server level. And um, in addition, with the cloud services having evolved to the point that they have, now, now that option is in play as well. So if you have any questions on the slide, I'm happy to. Go ahead, Steve. Um, I want to go back to the disaster recovery. It's, it specifically says, um, according to this report, there is no data taken off-site for safekeeping should disaster occur at the town hall. And I just wanted to point that out. Um, it's really very important. There are, there are ways of backing things up into the cloud, for instance, um, or even putting it on a device and putting it in a fireproof safe or, or actually bringing it to another site. Um, <coughs> that's, that's one thing I, I picked up on this report. Another thing, you talk about the hardware. Um, I don't know how many people in this room on this committee have ever been through that door to see the operations of the um, information technology, but there, I would, I think it's referred to as a cave. A, a lot of people call it, they lovingly call it a cave. Um, it's not very, it's, it's, it's just a closet. They're working out of a closet with a low ceiling. Um, they've got an air conditioner big air conditioner, a, port a, a window air conditioner in a, what was a cellar window that's blowing into that room just trying to keep the temperature down because you have equipment yeah. that heats up. You have servers on racks. I've been in there. I've seen it. There's, according to this report, there are several services, a uh, service that are no longer under warranty. There's, it's, it's what I would describe as, and I have a background and, and, a, and a degree in computer technology, I would describe it as a Frankenstein system. Um, the Paul Parquet knows that system. He knows his equipment, and he has, he has taught Dylan, his assistant, the same. But it's not um, something happened to either one of them. It would, somebody just walking in off the street, it would be a, it would, it would take a little bit of time to to get up to the up to speed to be able to get that um, back up and running if there was a, a super critical problem. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, if I may interject, in, in that report, it actually said that because of the complexity of what you're describing, mm -hmm. it will take years for someone to come on board <coughs> and, and ramp up the speed. If 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 Paul and, and Dylan disappear for some reason tomorrow, uh, you bringing in a, a highly skilled technologist will take a long time to get up to speed to this unusual environment it's just having so seen it part of a contingency plan to be upgrade the equipment well they, they do the best they can with what they have in the money you know the money the budget is they're doing an excellent job so please don't get me not, wrong I'm saying and if you talk to plenty about recommendations I'm saying shouldn't part of that be a contingency plan well, it's, it's right here. Some of this eventually gets upgraded. It's, it's right, right here in the, the plan. Right. It's all here in the report. It, yeah. They make recommendations yeah. and stuff. I'm, um, I'm just commenting on and adding to a little bit. Having firsthand been in there, I've talked to Paul many times. I've seen the equipment. I'm familiar with servers and, and, and various hardware and switches and routers and things. Yeah. And, um, you know, what we have works. It mentions on the front page of this report that... It says specifically, I highlighted it, there are no glaring security gaps or any system failures. But, 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 but. Um, you know, <laughs> this is 2017, folks. Uh, and what, when I look at that equipment, it takes me back and mem down memory lane. It's, it's, well, his memory lane now, he was on the Selectman's IT committee with me about, was it five years ago? Yeah. And, Maybe the memory lane is that that you're referring to, because we had a tour uh, in there five years ago, and we collected a lot of data in our in our meetings. Uh, and when you read the report, you were taken down memory lane. Was that memory about five years old? No, I'm talking about <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about when I worked at the newspaper, and I was the I was the IT person. Talk about the '90s then. Yes, I'm mm. talking about the '90s okay. and the 2000s. 
and that reminds me a lot of some of the older uh, yeah. hardware that we had and the, the way we were networking back then and it's you know it's all been changed now you forgot to mention your favorite fire sprinkler oh Risk. in in that room <laughs> There's right. A, it's it's that's one of the things I noticed. Okay, there's a fire. There's a sprinkler head directly above the racks for where the servers are. Okay, I don't know if you've seen that. When I saw it, I was like, "What? Can, are you kidding me? This that? It's just an observation. I am not trying to be critical. I'm not criticizing anything or anybody. They do the, We've done the best we can, but is it? If I, let's put it this way, this is a big corporation, this town. If this was my company, <laughs> I would be concerned about mm -hmm. what we have presently. It's, and, yeah. and this report does talk about recommendations and things. Well, like I think that. it's important to keep in mind, Steve, that you know this, in, this technology environment in town kind of grew kind of organically almost. Hey, I need a PC. Okay, here's a PC. Hey, I, over here, I need another PC. And it just kind of grew up over the years that way with no no architectural considerations of any kind and a lot of businesses thought that way uh, when, when they were adopting technology but at some point they have to say right, we have to get our our hands around this and start managing it in, 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 in a uh, in, in a uh, uh, well, what I've been hearing is you know this is a disaster waiting to happen yeah. I don't understand why the Board of Selectmen doesn't put an IT committee together there's plenty of resources in the community to them love to help the town come into the 21st century. No. Well, I think what happened was, Sonny, that you know, last year, uh, management, because it was one of the things from the Selectman's IT Committee five years ago, it was like, look into Office 365. Last year, they, they put together a proposal for Office 365. The IT Committee embraced the concept, but considered the plan not well conceived. Mm. Uh, that caused them to take a step back and say, wait a minute, we need to take a look at our overall uh, mm -hmm. landscape uh, before we even do anything further. And that's what gave birth to them commissioning this report. And I think they should be credited for uh, the, the courage that it takes to, to generate a report that is, that is going to criti be criti critiquing their current situation so that we can move forward in a positive way. Knowing that that report is a public document and everyone can start throwing dots at it, and I would encourage you not to throw dots at it, but you know, consider it as kind of a, a, a beacon of light to how we can improve things. Um, and, and, and that's that's my overall attitude toward that report. Yeah, you can find negative things and you can start playing the blame game if, if, if you wanted to, but it's not going to do anything that's positive. And I hope that we want to do things that are positive. Uh, and, and so, well, what, again, what we're trying to do is just highlight some of the major topics and just have a conversation around it. So I welcome, you know, these comments and questions. Are, are there any others? Mr. Jones, the town of Hampton is a municipal corporation, as Mr. LaBranche just mentioned. My concern is that technology is where we are today. Our system has grown like topsy. One of the things we're talking about with regard to Hampton Academy was how the technology is ballooning and young people these days really need to have their hands-on experience and gain expertise doing this. Uh, I agree with Mr. LeBranch. This is 2017. And this is something I would think that you would want to keep up with year after year. If this IT committee out of this budget committee had not lobbied for a new IT report we wouldn't have any of this information that we have now uh, I did read through the whole thing uh, well, we grew like topsy but that's not acceptable in this day and age I think there's a serious management issue here. I think the Board of Selectmen should be coordinating with management to keep on top of this year after year. I think it's unacceptable to have departments crippled. For example, a public works department can't coordinate with the planning board. 
and they need to be able to coordinate with the planning board. We've got so much we've got so much lacking in the current system that we have now. And I didn't realize about that sprinkler head, but that would make me mighty nervous too. And our poor tech people are running around putting out fires and sticking their finger in the dike. And that's not an efficient way to run. These departments should be able to run, they should be able to use the technology smoothly without major interruptions. That's going to save time. It will save employees time. Hopefully we'll have more um, better results in what we're trying to get done instead of having people slaving over something and waiting and waiting and not being able to connect. And I know the fire chief mentioned something about huge dumpings of emails. It, it, there's got to be a way to well, correct we'll this. Be getting in, we'll you be getting into and that, so Mike I deserve a lot of credit. I would like you to make a couple comments. First of all, the sprinkler head doesn't necessarily a bad thing because they went away from sprinklers because they realized they were bad news. But then they realized when they used the uh, gas form, halogen or whatever they used, that was bad for people. It kills people. <laughs> and, and it causes the tiles to lift up and blow all over the place. So they went back to having unloaded sprinkler heads. So that could be unloaded, it might be perfectly up to date, Steve, is all I'm trying to say. And back to being so critical about what we have in this town, growing up and in, in being in, the, uh, in this in just industry for a number of years, or longer than you want to count, I don't see anything particularly bad about anything that's here. It's just like you say, it needs to be updated. Mm -hmm. And the cloud seems to be the way that we do it. Having servers on racks, I have a server on a rack at my house. Is my house going to burn down? No. Does the server work fine? Yes, it does. The only thing I don't have is a high, really super high speed connection to the internet. So what I'm, all I'm trying to say is this review is really good because it takes a critical look at things. But I don't think anybody should be bad mouthing anything or anybody at this point. Mm -hmm. I think we should be looked at from a constructive point of view. What do we need? What are we lacking? And I think Paul and um, what's his name, Darren? Dylan, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, right, Dylan, sorry, <clears throat> have done a wonderful job because they're very, they get along with all the town employees well, being in the customer service business, that's very important, and I think everything's been going along reasonably well. I didn't realize that Public Works was filling out paper documents for the yes. timesheets. Yes. Why they're doing that, I have no idea because they got computers there, and any computer in this town has Microsoft Works on it or Office on it. Therefore, they can put it on the spreadsheet, if nothing else, if they don't have any unique software. So there's really, in my mind, like we have no a, reason for that whatsoever. No, we have saying. a Warren article out for um, asset management in DPW, which uh, asset management software, which is going to radically improve uh, the situation in DPW. Mm. I understand it, but I'm just saying... Well, what I'm saying is, is that they've already taken some action along these areas. There's no, no reason for that to be happening right now. That's a, strictly a management problem yes. that probably will be rectified when we start implementing some of these new ideas because if you go to the cloud, you can have all this stuff on the cloud. Departments can work together. All the information can be common, like Tim's trying to say if his video works good, he can go right down to the end. He's getting all this stuff off the cloud someplace right now, right? No, we'll get there. Okay. So, I mean, it's all easy to do, and it's all doable. The problem is in the town, like everything else, we spend money on certain areas, and then we don't spend money on certain areas. Way back when, we had a, a, a fund just for the IT environment, and they wanted to use all of it last year, remember? And they wanted to deplete it for something they wanted to do, which I thought was totally inappropriate. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is we have to follow this review, look at it closely, and not try to criticize what we're doing now. Let's build what we got and go from there. What this report has done is shine light on yes. how, how rich we are in opportunity for mm -hmm. improvement, mm -hmm. and we should look at it in that light. Jenny, you want to say something? Yes, I do. <coughs> RSAs are very careful as the, as the job of the Budget Committee versus the job of the Board of Selectmen. Right. We are, we are right now having wonderful conversations. They are not budget committee conversations. They are board of selectmen conversations. 
Well, Jenny. That's that's what it is. Facts and figures. We do figures Jenny. board of selectmen since policy and procedures. Jenny. They're in doing policies, Tim, Jenny. and that's not financial obligations. Jenny. It is information to have later on Jenny. when we are presented with a budget. But right now we are going into the selectmen's policies and procedures. Jenny, may, may, I, yes. may I point out to you that right at the beginning of this presentation, and I still maintain that the purpose of this presentation is to, is to bring a conversation about the obvious need that there will be budgetary implications, whatever management decides to do with this report, and that we as a budget committee ought to have those considerations in our mind. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to talk openly about it. There is no proposal whatsoever that it is going to be brought forth by the budget committee relative to implementation or operations. That's just not going to happen. We shouldn't even we shouldn't even be talking about this until the selectmen bring forth a budget that has an IT upgrade or has a warrant article for IT upgrades. Then you know this is great information to have in our files, but I don't think we should be getting into what the bad and the good of the IT reports. That's up for the selectmen to review, then they'll make their recommendations, and then it'll come to us when there's a figure. Mm -hmm. But until that point, I don't think we should, Mary Lee. Just, we, we disagreed okay. so before. So it's, it's great information for our files, as you said. So Jenny, you said you, it's great information for our files, but you're saying let's not look at the files. No, I'm not saying that. I'm okay. saying we're not, as a committee, I'm not going to, we shouldn't put any time in, the, I mean, I disagree with, that's okay. You guys think it's a valid thing to be discussing? Then we continue with the discussion. No problem. Jenny, we wouldn't even have this report had the IT committee of the budget committee not lobbied for this. And number two, we are taxpayers, and we are looking at a system that has deteriorated over a number of years and not been up to snuff. That's my tax money and your tax money, and we are paying That's for. Not being discussed at the budget meeting. We're paying. She's we're right. paying for. Well, management. I want to contradict that remark for one second. A well-informed buyer is the best buyer. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you buy. Right. Yeah. And we're, we're the budget committee. We should know what we're buying. Yeah. And when you go out and look, when you go buy your new car for yourself. Don't you check them out to see if they're going to run for more than five minutes? Don't you want to know a little bit about the, the finance car? group that once you pick your car out, we're going to help you give the loan? Well, if you're well informed about what they might be asking for in the that's budget, that's going to be a lot of the problems we have to begin with. Anything old going back, I've been, been through this thing 15 times myself. Network connectivity, recovery. They need a master plan, the, the selectmen, with an IT group yes. on the yes. current map of exactly what's in that room. Yes. I used to create them. What does that room look like? What's the service like? What's the network right. connection? Where do you want to be five years from now, three years from now, and a five-year plan? They put that together. The selectmen put that together. They're right. going to ask us for certain monies to be able to coordinate and do that, exactly. and we're going to go ahead and approve or disapprove. Maybe at that point we'd be asking questions, but mm -hmm. I really think we at times have gone off from what I've observed from budget work to really getting into selectmen's territory which creates a lot of negativity okay. and I okay. question the level that we're going at and we're in not trying here. to create policy here we're reviewing this IT report that they request to have done we're reviewing it so we can be a well-informed buyer I don't see anything wrong with that David in addition <coughs> we didn't get this report till December 20th by then we were pretty well complete with the budget Right. And I still say Aren't that you're proping any money for this right now. No, then, then, that's why we're talking we're, about it. That's why we're saying, where is the plan? That's what I'm saying as one taxpayer. Where is that's a different the thing plan? as a taxpayer? I'm agreeing with Where's you because I'm plan? a taxpayer too, and, and they we need should a have plan. been able to see something when we got the budget figures. But that's not a discussion for the budget group at this moment of time. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm agreeing 100% with Jenny. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We, we, I would we, agree with Jenny. To me, this is a management policy issue. We have nothing before us to vote on, to approve or disapprove or amend. This information, if it was more closely connected to the time when the Board of Selectmen would be presenting something in this area, would be retained and be far more valuable. 
and you, as the chair, wrote a letter to the yes, I did. newspaper yeah. uh, taking a position on this issue and signed it as the chair of the budget committee. Now, it seems to me we had never even discussed this as an issue at, the, at that time. I think we're getting ahead of it, and, and no matter how you cut this, people are going to get defensive about it, and maybe premature. And as Tim has said, we work together on this. But if we start going off in all different directions, we're going to blame Well, there's a purpose, uh, Bob, here is, is to try to have a background understanding. Dave, you have a background in, in IT. Not everybody here does. Mm. You sit here at these, you have not sat at these budget committee meetings where we've discussed the so-called MIS budget, and the questions that are asked are, are not um, conducive to them stretching for higher standards, which is what this IT audit report is calling for. Let's stretch for higher standards. This budget committee is not going to be able to support the funding to do that if we keep asking why we spent so much money on printers or paper. I mean, because that's basically the kind of questions that, that they often are asked. And, and what we need to have is a common understanding. Dave and you and I, we have a similar background in that respect. Most of it, we already have a common understanding. We don't even need to talk about it, you and I, okay? But there are other members of the committee that have no background in, in technology at all. The newest person in this group, and I already get burnt on the IRSA in reference to not being told or trained on a simple thing like, gee, the meeting, whatever you call that thing, and I, and I, and I wrote a little blurb. I should have been trained in that, so that's what should have been taught here. This thing is way beyond on this part here for this IT thing proposal that's really in the selectmen's arena, in my opinion, and we are premature and we're kind of sticking our nose in there. To us go off on our own and teach each other, that's one thing. But as a well, group that's right exactly now, we're meeting what we're here as a here. budget yeah. committee. That's it's exactly really what we're doing here. But there's no proposal in front of us this to do anything for money for us to look at. We don't need a proposal for, for a lesson. Well, we have the document. But, uh, right. You have yeah. the document. It was given yeah. to us. <laughs> and all we're doing as an IT subcommittee is saying, hey, we have some background. We can explain what's in this document in, in hopefully in simpler terms than the reading of the document itself. Yeah. Okay? That's really what this is all about. Well, and also, friend, excuse me and for one second. Ask, we have Can we get a back on the topic? Going to be voted. <laughs> Thank you for the distraction. And there's nothing in that budget for this whole year, for this budget year, to accomplish some of these goals. So we're wasting another year. Well, nothing tonight is going yeah. to fast yeah. forward that out. Yeah. You won't have what I said now in March either. No. What it's, I said at the beginning was this is a function of the Board of Selectmen. Yes. They should set up an IT committee because Correct. there are people Correct. in the community that can. <coughs> and you wouldn't I have do this my job. report but for the I'm Budget well Committee IT subcommittee. Yeah. Actually, before we adjourn, I'd like to yes, read sir. the. the on the website, the overview of the legal department, the job description for the oh. town council. Okay, because I have a couple of comments and we'll yeah. go through with this. Are there any more questions on this slide? No, it's an excellent presentation. Thank you. <coughs> the email functionality that was uh, discussed in the uh, IT audit report, the current system is not reliably functioning as needed. Mm. Emails are actually not being delivered. I think some of us on this body have had that experience. You're not talking about intentional blocking. <laughs> no. Well, no, it's it's not. It, 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 that's what the IT report right. said. Their emails are simply yeah. being dropped off. Right. Uh, you know, lost in the, in uh, in the in the space. They're just <laughs> not being delivered. <laughs> sending sending me quotes, sending messages with attachments is nearly impossible and excruciatingly slow, no matter the size. <coughs> This kind of stuff where you cannot communicate with, within your organization causes serious uh, uh, cost implications, which of course affects money. Yep. They are recommending a, uh, a cloud uh, solution be looked into. Um, they actually said most businesses of your size, meaning the town of Hampton, with multiple departments are using uh, Microsoft Exchange slash 365, which is been on the table for discussion in, in the past uh, and hopefully 
we'll have a, a good plan coming forward this year, and I really hope that uh, the budget committee will embrace that next next year's budget committee. That is uh, because it's something that is hugely beneficial to moving this town forward in terms of its ability to be efficient and productive with the resources that the voters vote for them to have via their budget and warrant article votes. I'm not going to read all of the elements of these slides. I think you guys are quite capable of reading that. So, Next slide, if you don't have any questions on the email, if you do, uh, I should pause and go back. Now, are there any questions on the email issue or topic? Comments? Okay. Technology leadership. Now, the report actually called out as the most important thing is to hire an IT manager. And this is the most opinionated slide in my presentation. Because I thought it was like an oversimplified statement. Shouldn't we be suggesting this to the selectmen and working with them? I agree with you with this need. 100% I'm agreeing with everything that needs to be done. The question is, are we the... Are well, we if this forum is not going to allow the presentation to take place, you're probably right. It's a waste of time. But I think it's a good a learning experience. We should be well informed when we're coming to the budget. If you don't want to be well informed, that's your choice. I mean, like you said, you didn't. You were all upset because you didn't know about the RSAs with the email. That is an RSA problem. We don't talk about RSAs in the budget committee because we only do money according to you. So oh, therefore, you oh, no. excuse me. Yes, right. you, you do. do. Okay, let's get yes. back on Mr. Jones. <coughs> Go ahead, Tim. So, oh, and, and if you right. notice yes. all the multiple references in the IT report regarding the need for an IT manager, Michael spoke on the basis that that need existed because of a lack of technical leadership. Mm -hmm. And so what really is missing is not an IT manager, but technical leadership. Yeah. So he may have just thrown that out as a casual way of ca encapsulating into <laughs> IT manager. But really what they're looking for is IT management. Again, this is an, the only opinionated slide in my presentation. When I say referencing to this uh, function with part-time labor, which I believe is also in the report, should not be taken, uh, you know, with a, uh, uh, very seriously. It's possible to go to a part-time situation in this case after we've achieved sustainable high standards, but we're not going to get to sustained high standards using uh, part-time right. uh, force, whether it's a manager or, or even a technical leader. Uh, it's probably going to take a multi-year effort on a full-time basis to get to uh, higher standards that are sustainable. Any questions on this? slide. Good. Uh, current staffing, uh, this is right off the report and and I'm in agreement with it fully. The IT staff is good but they work in a reactive fashion yeah. and so we need to get them into the mode of being proactive. Uh, budget, there's that magic word right in that report yeah. that might have something to do with this committee. And lack of leadership, again, the leadership is really a technical leadership. It's, I don't consider that a slam on town management. It's simply that we don't have the technical leadership. Any questions on that? No. Comments? Okay. I don't come near the end. The data, the data is highly segregated in this environment. We have a lot of data, data, data uh, silos or isolated data that are not integrated at all. It causes a lot of redundancies, as you can see, several employees and departments and overall processes in place that are not efficient, reliable, and wasting dollars daily for the staff and the taxpayers. There's that magic word, dollars. You might think that has something to do with the budget committee. Data are being viewed at each department without the other even knowing about it. Forms are being re-entered. Redundancy. Huge cost savings in time to to get data integrated you will have huge cost savings and i know you know that to be true from your own experience david i this is a generic thing that's that correct put on just to every company that's, that's correct out there. absolutely correct yeah. so we need to work with the selectmen to hire hire an it leader yes from my perspective and work with so them be supportive that of that take yes. over and support them i'm Great. with that 100 percent Great. Any questions or but comments? I'm working, on talking about working with the selectmen and doing this. That's exactly what I'm trying to do is foster an environment in which the budget committee can be well positioned to work with the selectmen and town manager and seeing that they get the funds needed to move forward and get these improvements as they see fit. 
So, any further comment or questions on this slide? Okay. Ah, an example. I have a very simple data example in terms of demonstrating, David, and I hope you'll tolerate this, um, of, of the kind of the power of uh, data integration. I think you've all gone onto uh, the Town of Hampton's website and looked up various things like videos and minutes and agendas and things of that nature. And eventually I will get my... I wish I hadn't had to change my computer. <laughs> I did not connect to the internet when I powered this up. That's all. Not a big deal. It's like a poltergeist. It is. <laughs> My computer gave up the ghost, so I can relate to that. Mm -mm. While he's doing that, I would just make a comment that this is not the budget committee that would be addressing this issue. There will be a new this budget a public committee meeting. voted in March, yeah. and this would be better served at the least if it were presented in some other time Listen, period. We got a full-time town manager, we got an assistant town manager, we got a full-time town council. We'll obviously have to hire another full-time IT person, so we'll put the I would think one of the major roles, if you so, I had a suggestion, yeah. might be I'd like the assistant manager to the town manager, might just be one of his main arenas. Exactly. And, and when all he needs is technical leadership to support his managerial expertise. Right. Exactly what my opinionated yeah. slide was suggesting. The If you're going out to look at, uh, this is where you go. You go to the Town of Hampton website, yeah. and you go to uh, Town Docs, Agendas and Meetings, and say you want to go to the Board of Selectmen, you got to select them. But of course, here, you're presented with what year you're dealing with and whether you want <coughs> minutes or agendas, okay? And this is all very rudimentary stuff, right? Each one of these basic directories are isolated. They're separated. They're separate from each other. There's no integration between them. So what I did was I put together this little website. You can go to it yourself, uh, metal, metacloudworks.com. And uh, here, if you just go to meeting, if you will see a listing of meetings. Yeah, that's incredible what he did. All right. Yep. Now, this data is actually coming off of the source. I'm actually scraping the data right off of the town website and incorporating them. So, for example, we've got a selectman's meeting here. If I click on the details, we can see that there are two documents, open agenda and draft minutes are out there, and there are three videos that, are, that, that have been produced uh, or made available, uh, which are right here. You can select either one of them and, and simply play them if you wish. Uh, and that's true for all of these meetings uh, that you see listed here. Right now I'm saying, oh, just give me the selectmen, or I can say just give me the board, of uh, the uh, budget committee, or, or what have you. Okay. Um, and of course, I don't know what is beeping on my computer, but it's having a great time. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that the IT audit was not handed out to the public. There, there aren't piles of printouts of it, although maybe they should oh. be upstairs. So this is... You could literally search for all of them. You can see I've got 1,051 records here yeah. that's being loaded up. And by the way, this is only showing you 10 entries per page. You've got a paging thing, pagination going on here. Yeah, that's so you can amazing. select whatever page. It sorts by whatever column you want. You want to see which meetings had the most videos. You can just sort on that column that quickly. Um, this is just for TS, because I'm actually logged in here, and perhaps I shouldn't, so you can see the actual, uh, uh, what it looks like to normal people, so to speak. It's quite a resource. And this search box here will actually, you can type in anything. So if, if I want to type in, say, fire, you'll notice uh, nothing shows up on fire. Because I'm dealing with, I'm dealing with not videos, I'm dealing with meeting names. 
But if you just wanted to say, show me the selectmen, you can see all the selectmen right there. Because it's looking at every column. If you wanted to say, just show me everything with a two slash in it, and I'll see all the February meetings regardless of the year. Okay. It's very fast, uh, responsive, and integrated. And if you take a detail again to one of these guys that have documents like this is my favorite one because it has both documents and videos, um, I did not have time to actually fully implement the tagging feature for demonstration. Uh, but you can see I did incorporate it in places, but I, I hadn't been able to, I didn't have time to fully test it. I do not present things that are not fully tested. Um, what you're seeing now is actually up there on on the web. It's metacloudworks.com. Everything you saw on the screen is coming off to that internet. Um, so, Tim, are you demonstrating the potential? Potential. Well, what, I'm, what I'm trying here is just a tiny example, a very tiny example how much time you can save when data is integrated. Mm -hmm. If you're doing research for agendas, meetings, yeah. uh, minutes, and, uh, and videos, you, you gotta go through a lot of exercise to find what you're looking for. And oftentimes you find that, I forgot what I was looking for because I got lost looking for it. Yeah. Yeah. But when you have data integration, you can go right to what you're looking for. You don't lose your thought in terms of what, you, what your purpose is. You don't get distracted. Saving time. And, and that's, a, that's a powerful thing on a very small example of data integration. Yeah. If you expand that out to uh, more important data, uh, operational data, for example, uh, the, the, uh, it, it is an ex ex exponential effect in terms of productivity. And productivity means money, yes. ultimately. Yes. So that's what that was for, just an example of a uh, small example of how data integration can improve everyone's life and reduce costs. Time is money. Yeah, and with that, I'll, I'll just leave that up for now, um, because you can actually see the IT audit report on that same website using that address, MetaWorks, metacloudworks.com/home. On there, there's the IT audit report itself in textual form, and the PowerPoint slides of this presentation are there as well. And you can of course play with the uh, meetings as I just uh, showed you. Go ahead, Steve. I just want to say thank you, Mr. Jones, for this learning experience. I want to keep it in that context. Mm -hmm. I most certainly want to apologize if I seem to be criticizing or, or in any way um, doing anything but <coughs> I, I, I simply want to make sure that I'm not trying to do anybody's job except my own, which is the budget committee, okay? This is the context of this perhaps we should have introduced it as this is for an education mm -hmm. and it's being it's being broadcast on channel 22 so it's an education for everyone in town thank you very much mr jones for all of the work that you did obviously putting this presentation together thank you thank you thank you i appreciate that and i and i concur as you can see from my first slide it's exactly what i said we're looking at budgetary considerations it's my opinion and your it subcommittee's unanimous opinion that whatever management decides to do in terms of implementing this IT report, uh, in terms of its recommendations, that the uh, IC subcommittee believes that the budget committee should be extremely open-minded because they're going to need money to make things happen. If this doesn't happen because we work harder. That's not going to do it. They're going to need resources to make it happen. And so I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that out there to people that the money will be well spent. You know, uh, I think the, uh, um, the, the, di the disconnect from fire stations in terms of communication mm. is a huge deal in terms of life-saving activity. Yeah. I mean, if the fire stations cannot effectively communicate with each other, uh, that could cost lives. And so it's not just about money, although I suppose you could put a dollar figure on a human life. I don't know how to do that, but I am presenting this in hopes that the budget committee and the whole town that may be watching realizes that there are huge opportunities to improve our operations mm -hmm. and over time lower our costs. Yeah. But we have to put some seed money into the effort and the budget committee needs to stand firm in helping bring that money to bear and that's my speech. Mm -hmm. So I thank you for your patience. I know we had some technical difficulties earlier. I appreciate your, uh, your patience on that. <laughs>